Hey guys, Jake from Shillington Projects here. Just doing a video on how we do bracing on our wall frames here in Australia. What you'll see here at the start of the video is me putting stud screws through the bottom plate into every stud. This basically acts as an anchor from the bottom plate to the studs. It's a lot more secure than just nails. And it is a requirement from the NCC, which is the National Construction Code here in Australia. That dictates uh, sort of how many stud screws you need, what studs, um, the length and gauge of them, all that sort of information is all in the NCC. Uh, so in this video, you can see that I'm putting in every end stud and every second stud which is it complies with the NCC. The stud screws that we're using here is uh, a brand called Bremic and they're readily available from most places. Traditionally, you would use hoop iron for securing your studs, but the stud screws are a lot quicker, a lot more efficient, and they just save a whole lot of time when you're out on site, especially doing cut frames like we are here in this video. So that's why we opt for the stud screws opposed to hoop iron. What you'll see here is a cross brace or a strap brace. What it basically off? is, is a roll of hoop iron that is coil nailed to the bottom of the bottom plate and then ran at a 45 degree angle up to the top plate. And this is done on two sections of the wall to make an X, the 45 degree angles will be working against each other. And so what this does is it puts equal pressure in opposing ways on your wall frame, which keeps it square and stops it from racking side to side. And what racking is, is when the frame moves from left to right, creating a rhombus shape as opposed to a square or a rectangle. So yes, these cross braces stop that because there is equal tension going in, e uh, in opposite directions. It stops any movement side to side. The strap bracing and tensioners that we use on these frames are from a brand called Prida. These are also a requirement um, from NCC. The engineer plans that you are given will dictate where they are needed on your wall frames. We usually opt to put more throughout our build. Uh, just it helps keep everything aligned better. It helps keep your walls nice and plumb and everything parallel and working just a lot nicer. So for the sake of adding a few more straps throughout your build, it's definitely worth doing in my opinion. The bottom of the strap bracing is completely nailed off as you can't get to the bottom plate later on once all the frames are stood and fastened down to the slab. But the tops are left loose and that's because you don't actually tension up and make these frames square when they're lying uh, down you wait until they're all stood up and connected together I'm to the then bottom. go ahead and brace and plumb all your walls so that's how it's done that's why the tops are left loose in this video the actual bracing part of these walls doesn't happen until all your walls are stood and connected together this is just purely to hold it there until um, we get to that stage Thanks for watching my video on wall frame bracing. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you sort of learned something. If you have any feedback for me, how I can improve on these videos or what topics you guys would like, please let me know in the comments. Also, let me know if you like these commentary style videos or if you prefer the videos with no commentary and it's just sort of carpentry background noise or a bit of music i can do either i just thought i would try this one and maybe give some of the the newer apprentices out there a, a sort of quick crash course on how frames are done here in australia or all people from overseas who are just curious on it so yeah just let me know in the comments and if you enjoyed it please give me a like yeah. and a subscribe thank you bye